We're evacuating patients quarter by quarter. Now I need you to stay here until somebody comes and we'll take you to the assembly point. We're supposed to stay here and just burn while you go figure out what you're gonna... That's not helping at all. You know what would be helpful is if we ignored that moron and you rolled me out of here. Why don't you go no. by all means? No, nobody's going anywhere. All right? We don't know what it looks like down any of those corridors. We don't want to get caught in some wheelchair traffic jam or get turned around and come back right to the fire. Okay, I agree with you to a point, but Olivia, if I start smelling smoke, we're getting the hell out of Just here. Just make sure you have an evacuation plan in your head, okay? Because you know this hospital, I right? I could leave you here to what send if, you. I'm sorry, what happened to karmic debt, Carly? Oh, oh, you're in no position to be invoking karma. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, considering all you've done, all that you should pay for, maybe tonight is divine retribution for you, Claudia. All right, they said the fire is moving east to west. Do you think you could figure out a way to get us out of here? You just said you wanted to wait until we were evacuated. Well, I'm starting to rethink that position. Why don't you go, Olivia? Why don't you go and see which corridors are clear? And while you're out there, just look for the DVD. It's very... And enough with the DVD, Connie. All right? It's a melted lump of plastic by now in good riddance. No, you couldn't be more wrong. That DVD has tremendous significance for a lot of people. What has significance is any of us getting out of this hospital alive tonight. Okay, the DVD on the other hand got stuck in a box with everyone's coats and purses and all the other crap in the boardroom to be burned, which I would bet is happening a lot faster than anyone expected. Because now pay attention here, Connie, the hospital is on fire, okay? So shut your freaking mouth, stop ordering me around and quit bitching about that stupid DVD. <laughs> wow, that was almost worth this hellacious night, just to hear that. Wow, really, Carly, you find that amusing? Yes, I do. You know what I find amusing? Is that you, of all people, would be helping this one after everything that she's done, after everything she has to pay for. And you know, it's not even bizarre, it's perverse. And if it was happening to anyone else, I'd actually feel sorry for them. But you, you almost deserve it. Why don't you shut the hell up? Because nobody cares what you think. I guess it's what you'd call an awkward situation, huh, Sonny? Yeah, I guess you could say that. There's another explosion. I gotta get you guys out of here right now. Well, and this is uh, quite a dilemma, huh, Sonny? Who are you gonna say first? Your ex-wife, your current wife, your ex-fiance? Don't forget the girl he dumped in high school. Why, why are we all just sitting around here? Because we're finally doing what we're told, okay? The nurse came and told us that they're going to be evacuating corridor by corridor, and we had to wait here for someone to take us to the assembly. I'm someone. Let's go. No, wait. Look, with all the confusion in the corridor, we could get lost. We could get separated, make a wrong turn. I'm sure I can figure it out. What? Maybe because Sonny knows the assembly point, he should just go ahead and take Olivia and Kate. Come back for me, Carly. You okay with that, Carly? Not really, but I'll hang out with my new BFF. I'm fine. Okay, come on. Over there, right? You got a straight shot to the helipad. Okay, thanks. Sonny, we would have been totally turned around without you. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up with you guys later, okay? Wait, Sonny. What? There's something I have to tell you, and I can't wait. I'm sorry, Kate, but this is not the it's right time. It's important, Sonny. It'll only take a minute. I gotta go get Carly and Claudia. You just need to take it easy. Uh, I don't want you falling out of this chair. You understand me? Yes, sir. I'm serious.